Hey guys, Iron Spider-Man here. Um, I thought I'd do a quick part four video of my Amazing Spider-Man collection. These are all the graded comics I have. Um, I didn't show this in the other previous videos because I couldn't get to the box. Um, it was all the way back there. Yeah, my room's kind of a mess, so um, dug it out today. Thought I'd show, start off with you guys, so let's just dig in. Amazing Spider-Man 38, 8.0, CBCS. Uh, this is the last Steve Ditko issue that he draws, and the second cameo appearance of Mary Jane. Her face is still not shown, but I think this is the one where, like, you see her behind, like, a piece of cloth or something, and B Betty Brant and Liz Allen see her. I think that's this issue. Might be wrong, but, yeah, beautiful cover. Looks great. Amazing Spider-Man 42, 7.5 CBCS. This is the very first appearance of Mary Jane. Um, her face is revealed. The famous, you've hit the jackpot tiger. Or, face of tiger, you've hit the jackpot. Um, ignore all the prices on here, too. I didn't pay those for anything. This is just what the people listed. And I never took them off. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 96, 9.0 CGC. This is where the Comics Code Authority is not on here. Um, because they did not approve of this story, but yet they did it anyway, and that's what Drugstore not approved by Comics Code Authority. So, yeah, great cover. Amazing Spider-Man 122, 7.0. This is the death of the Green Goblin, the aftermath of the death of Gwen Stacy. Um, I really have to get this. I got this back in... Not April, December, I think. So yeah, really, ha really happy to have that in my collection. Amazing Spider-Man 239, 9.4 CGC. This is, I think, technically the second appearance of the Hobgoblin. And the first fight, 238 was the first appearance. So this is the issue right after. For you know, first battle. Pretty cool cover. Most of these are eBay books. And con books. Amazing Spider-Man 252, 9.4 CGC. This ties um, with Marvel Team Up 141 for the first black costume appearance. This is the first appearance in the title Amazing Spider-Man. And, you know, it has the Amazing Fantasy 15 cover swipe there. Nice. Amazing Spider-Man 265, 8.0. This is the first appearance of Silver Sable which has been getting hot the last few months due to her being in the video game and then her uh, supposedly getting her own movie series from Sony, which I don't know what the heck Sony's doing. I think they should just give full rights back to Marvel, but that's just me. Amazing Spider-Man 297, 9.6. Whoops. Um, this was an eBay buy, I think, when I was getting real crazy with CGC books a couple years ago. I just bought it because it was, like, something real cheap. It's, like, $20 or less, probably. Amazing Spider-Man 299, 9.4. Venom cameo. Uh, this is also the second Todd McFarland issue drawn. And the first, you know, uh, first appearance of Eddie Brock as Venom on the last page. I got this a few years ago. I want to say, like, five years ago now. I only paid, like, 60 bucks or something. Um, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Amazing Spider-Man 309.6, Origin, First Appearance of Venom. Beautiful cover swipe. This is one of my favorite covers ever. Um, neat little story about this, too. Um, so I bought this book raw, okay? I bought this from one of the buyers, or one of the dealers I usually see at Steel City Con. And, you know, I was looking at the book, looked real nice, thought it was about a 9.0, 9.2. And another dealer that I'm really good friends with, you know, he came over with me and looked at it and goes, yeah, you could, he goes, if you're lucky, you might get 9.4 out of that. And the guy had it listed for 300 or, you know, had a price tag of 300 And I said, well, um, what could you work with me on it? And he said, I'll give you the 9.2 price of the guide or 9.1 of the two prices. He goes, it's about 225 I'll drop 75 bucks for you. And I was like, you know what? I I can't pass it up. I was like, I'll take it. Like, I've seen 9.2s, 9.4s graded that are more than that. So I was like, well, if I'm lucky, I'll get a 9.2 out of it. 
and you know it'll be a good buy. So it comes back to nine point six. I was <laughs> I was so scared to go back to the dealer at the next con because I knew he was gonna ask me, and he did. He was like, "So what'd you get out of it?" I was like, "Please don't be mad. I got a nine six out of it." And he, I mean, he was a little like, "Oh crap," but like he knows me. He knows I'm not gonna sell this. I'm keeping this. And goes at least, and you know, he said, "As long as it's going to you." And he goes, I, I can be happy with that. And I was like, okay, thank you. Because, again, that's a book I'll never get rid of. Amazing Spider-Man 301, 9.0. Again, bought this super cheap on eBay a few years back just because. Another book off the list. Amazing Spider-Man 344 at a 9.6. This is the first appearance of Cletus Cassidy and the first appearance of Cardiac. Who's that guy right there? I love Cletus Cassidy. Um, I call him Marvel's Joker, and I love Carnage. I think I like Carnage more than Venom. But yeah, this was... I remember this was a bidding war. I got this for $33. And, you know, raw books aren't even going for that cheap anymore. This was, again, a few years ago. It's really happy to have that. Amazing Spider-Man 430. Carnage Silver Surfer. This is where, like, the Silver Surfer gets the Carnage symbiote or something like that. Um, this is a really low print run, nine six, and I bought, I got this four thirty one. It was a package deal. I think I got both of these for one twenty. The nine six four thirty, then the nine four four thirty one. I had been eyeballing it on eBay for a while. I remember, and then I finally just offered and got one twenty, one twenty five for it. Uh, Amazing Spider Man four forty one nine six. This is the last issue before they rebooted everything. Back in a time where we didn't have endless reboots and number ones and renumberings and all that crap. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 36, Volume 2. This is the 9-11 uh, issue. It's 9.6. Really happy with that. Paid, I think, 80 bucks for this. Something like that. Uh, another one of my favorite covers of all time. Amazing Spider-Man 651. The Tron variant at a 9.6. Love that cover. Actually, this is one of my phone wallpapers. Love it. I wish this suit had made it into the comics or something. Um, really love it. Amazing Spider-Man 700, 9.8. As you can see, signed by Stan Lee on 330.13, death, quote-unquote, of Peter Parker. And it's that Amazing Spider-Man 300 cover swipe. Really love this. Um... I always wanted a Stan Lee book, got this, again, like, 2014, something like that. Um, I love the cover swipe, um, 700. This is, I think, also, this was the first issue. I remember reading comics that I got, like, teary at, like, I got emotional. So, I really wanted that, and signed by Stan Lee. Came across this, and I think it was, like, 150. So, I don't think you could get it for that cheap anymore. So, really happy to have that. I say this and my 300 are probably the books, you know. If the house was on fire and I have to get out, those are the two I'm taking. Uh, another 700 cover swipe, 9.6. This was signed by Dan Slott at Midtown Comics. Um, that is the green label because it was not verified by CGC. Just name written on cover. It's right there. Which I really, I really don't think they need. With so many signature authenticators out there... They could CGC could hire a whole team of people. They don't need to do the green labels anymore. They could just give you a yellow label. If it checks out, if the signature checks out, just give it a yellow label. Like, because everyone's so afraid of the green ones. Uh, another Amazing Spider-Man 700, 9.6. This is the regular cover, which I really love. I don't even remember when I bought that. Avenging Spider-Man 15.1. This is where Doc Ock makes, you know... His uh, first, like, prototype Spider-Man suit starts getting everything together. Really cool issue. I got that super cheap, too, like $20. Again, that's why I got it. Amazing Spider-Man number one, the Greg Horn cover. I believe this was... was this? Yeah, GameStop exclusive. Spider-Man coming out of the grave. This was right after Superior Spider-Man ended, and it rebooted. Really love that cover. Um... I've shown this, I sh Jesus, I showed this a while ago in a video, years ago. Um, this is the Amazing Spider-Man 1 blank cover with, um, you know, signed and sketched by Daniel Granger. I'm not really familiar with him. Uh, it's the first appearance of Clayton Cole, first appearance of Cindy Moon. 
It's a 9.2, and obviously, as you can tell, it's drawn on, you know, the Amazing Fantasy 15 cover swipe. Even has all the words. Um, again, this was $30, $40, and I thought it was really neat. I mean, it looks like the guy just traced it almost, but if he didn't, kudos. Um, but I really liked it, and it's one of those things, I was like, well, you know, why the hell not throw a few bucks at it? Just something really cool to have. Another fantastic cover, one of my favorite artists. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 1, 9.6, the Alex Ross cover. Love Alex Ross art, love his Spider-Man work. I wish he was still doing the covers. He's doing, what, Immortal Hulk and Captain America now, I think. But yeah, never get tired of seeing his Spider-Man work. Amazing Spider-Man number one. This is the, where they rebooted it again, I think, volume four. Um, where he had, like, you know, the bigger spider and the glowed green. This cover, thankfully, doesn't have that. I think this looks much better without the green. Is it the... Is it the, the Greg Land? Yeah, Greg Land cover. I really liked it. Just had all the villains in the background and everything. Really cool. Amazing Spider-Man number one. Neo Adams variant, 9.8. Um, Hemo, I mean, Neil Adams is pretty famous for DC work, Batman, Green Arrow, so to have something he does as Spider-Man I thought was really neat. This I paid, I think it was close to 100 bucks for, because there's just, uh, a lot of people don't have them graded, not a lot of listings, so I just jumped on the chance. Right. Amazing Spider-Man 25, 9.2. This was another sort of like, I remember this, this was on eBay, um, Seller didn't have 100%, 100% feedback. It was like 99.5 or something. So no one was really watching his stuff. And this was, I think, $50 or best offer. I can't even remember what I offered him. But the Tyler, I love Tyler Kirkman art. To have a Spider-Man cover by him, graded and signed by him. Um, I figured, you know, why not take the chance? If not, I'll just play the eBay money back thing. If I needed to, if I couldn't trust the seller, but turns out I could. I'm really happy with the buy. Signature's in a good place, I thought. And this is one of my favorite issues of this series, too, because um, this is when Norman Osborn starts coming back. And I guess first appearance of Al Fakiro? I don't know how to say that. I'm not going to try. But yeah, guys, that's all my graded books. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I am going to try and maybe show my Ultimate Spider-Man Um collection after this um other than that i'm not sure what other books i would show if you guys have any ideas or want to know anything uh give me a suggestion i'm always you know i'll always listen but until then thank you everyone and i'll see you in the next video